pretty people of the universe. So today I am going to be doing a foundation review. I received this little baby in the mail. And okay, so I know a lot of you have been asking me to do a Fenty review for a while. However, I have now tried a lot of the products, but I haven't tried the foundation yet. So I decided to do a first impression review of the foundation. I'll tell you guys a little bit about the other products that I have tried and whatnot. Um, but this main video is basically just gonna be me reviewing the foundation for the first time. I'm going to get up the description of the um, foundation. I've heard that it's matte, um, but I, I don't know what else it claims. So let me just read about it and then I'll be able to tell you if it does what it claims. So it retails at $34. I don't know how much that is in pounds, but it retails at $34. It'd be cheaper in pounds. It comes in 40 shades. 40! I just can't believe that like a first time brand has brought out 40 shades of foundation. 40. Literally unbelievable. Okay, it's a soft matte long wear foundation with be be beadable. Buildable medium to full coverage. The ultimate photo filter in foundation form. Um, foundation gives skin an instantly smooth, poor, diffuse, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. It's oil free and it has technology that is resistant to sweat and humidity. Won't clog pores. Okay, so it does a lot. So in this box that I got, I got the Foundation primer, I've got the foundation, I got two matchsticks in shades Unicorn and Yacht Life, and then I've got the portable highlighter brush. I've got the foundation brush and the cheek highlighting brush. I've used this foundation brush for my other foundation and um, I really, really like it. This I'm not too sure about. I prefer my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush, but this is still good. Um, the gloss bomb, I've used that. Let me get it. This is what was meant to be in there. This is a lip gloss. Definitely, hands down, one of my favourite lip glosses ever. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. I've got Trophy Wife Highlighter and Kilowatt um, Highlighter. I've got Blotting Powder and then I've, it did come with a brush. I'm not sure what the brush has disappeared to. And then I've got Blotting Paper. And look, this is a little video about the brand... Battery died. She's a goddess, basically. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows. I've already done my, I've only done a little bit of eyeshadow and I've just stuck some lashes on. And now it is time to do the face. So obviously Fenty Beauty is a high-end brand right up Jade Street because you guys know I am a high-end junkie. I rarely use drugstore products. I do like drugstore products, I just, my brain just wants high-end stuff in life. I've been like this, ever, even when I was broke on my ass. I've just, I've got... <laughs> I like high-end stuff, okay? Now, um, I usually use Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade 7.5. And this is a dewy foundation. That is what I usually go for. I don't really go for matte foundations. I'm not really a fan of them, to be honest with you. Um, but now that it is winter time, I feel like I've been powdering my face more than usual, just because I feel like it just doesn't really make sense to have like a really dewy, summer glow in winter. I mean, do what you're doing, obviously I still do it, but just for me recently, I've been powdering a little bit more. So this primer obviously goes with the foundation. I'm guessing it is matte. The packaging is beautiful. This is the first time I'll be using this. Guys, my dark circles have been really bad recently. I don't know what's going on. Doesn't smell of anything, so. So I'm just gonna blend this all in. It doesn't, it has 
it has a really nice feel to it to be fair it feels like moisturizer um it doesn't feel like a silicone foundation primer it feels really moisturizing it like it's different from what i expected actually like i was expecting it to like make my face feel quite dry but not at all so I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes for that to settle into my skin and then I'll move on to foundation. Okay, moving on to foundation. I've heard such good things about this foundation. Um, a lot of people have been raving about it and I'm interested to see what all the hype about. It says shake well, so, ow. This is what the foundation looks like. The packaging is beautiful. I am in the shade 330. So I would use the foundation brush. However, before when I tried the foundation brush, I was just seeing what the foundation brush was like and I do like it. However, for me, I seem to always love a beauty blender more than anything. So I'm just going to apply the foundation how I would usually apply the foundation. So I'm just gonna take, for now, three pumps at the back of my hand. I'll see if that does good. I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. It's weird because they sent me the foundation and it seems to be right for me. It could be a little bit too dark, but I can just use like concealer. So now I'm just gonna take a beauty blender how I usually would and start blending this all over the face. I'm gonna take the foundation brush and put this down my neck just so it blends with everything else. My face is always lighter than my body anyway because um, when I go away and stuff, I use a heavier SPF on my face and a lighter one on my body just so my face is more protected than the rest of me. It's more important anyway. So far, this looks very, very nice. I think it dries quite quickly. Like for me to, I think you've got to work with it quickly. It's fine to blend in though. It blends in really well, to be honest. I personally think I need a little bit of a lighter shade. Just like one down, I think. But I think when the rest of my face goes on, it will look fine. So the three pumps did the whole of my face and my neck. So what I've got on right now is medium coverage, but I can tell that the foundation is definitely buildable. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys and show you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the rest of my face how I usually would. I never wear foundation on its own. I always put on concealer, powder, highlight, and the rest of it. So to make the review fair, I have to do what I would usually do. I'm just gonna do all that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm not fully finished with my face, um, but I'm about to use one of the Fenty matchsticks. This is in Truffle and I use this for contour. I've been using this for like as soon as it came out. Like, how long has Fenty been out for? It's been like over a month now, hasn't it? I don't know. But this is like one of the first things I received from Fenty and I used it and I haven't been able to stop using it since. So the color truffle, I really, really like to contour. Um, I do have, it came in a three, so it comes like this. Mine are quite dirty, I'm sorry. So it comes in a three like this and they're magnetic. It's really cool, I love it. Um, so I've got truffle, I also got like a, it's like a concealer in caramel and then I've got like a highlightery one called rum. I really like truffle and I really, really like rum, however, I don't like caramel as a concealer. Um, I find that the formulation is too drying for me, personally. It's not bad on the face, like using it on the face, but for under eyes, I don't like it on the under eyes. Um, but I love truffle and I love rum. I'm gonna do a little contour on the nose. I don't usually do this, but I fancy looking a bit slashed today. 
like not too much makeup but like you still look snatched you know them days where you like you look effortless but you know you put the effort in I love it like I actually I love I love the matchstick for contour so so much I haven't used any other contour since I've got that so it's saying something so I just want to show you the highlighter quickly because this has quickly become my favourite highlighter of all time. To date, I'm literally in love with it. So this is the Kilowatt Highlighter. I got mine a while ago, so this isn't what it looks like new. I'll show you what it looks like new. I have two, and this one hasn't been touched at all. But this is the one that I usually use. I don't really use this one, but I'm obsessed with this. So I just want you lot to prepare for the glow. Like... Honestly, I'm gonna be using it on a Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush. This is my favorite highlighting brush though. This is the one that I'm going with. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I always put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Brow bone, and I like to always put some in the inner corners of my eyes. I know a lot of you have obviously seen Trophy Wife as well. I just want to show you what it looks like. Like, how? This is absolutely stunning. I'm going to swatch it for you. The level of unreal. I actually did like a mini review on Trophy Wife on my Snapchat, I don't know if any of you guys saw that, but um, I put it on my inner corners of my eyes and I did try it on my cheekbones as well. And funny enough, I actually quite liked it on my cheekbones, I didn't think I would. Um, I thought it would be too much because I've seen like a few people wear it and I'm just like... Wow. But I think actually if you put a little bit on your cheekbones, then it actually looks really, really, really pretty. However, it's definitely a summer thing. Like, I wouldn't wear this as a highlighter in winter. Summer, I would. But I, w I would always wear it in the inner corners of my eyes any time of the year. I'm actually going to put a little bit on now just to make it a little bit more gold. It's stunning. I'm going to take a little bit of the blotting powder now. It actually comes with a little sponge thingy. I'm just gonna take this on a large fluffy brush and just powder my face a little bit with this. It's gonna put some blusher on a little bit just so it ties in with everything. The blush I'm using is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in Peachy Love. But I'm just gonna, they're in a three, but I'm just gonna take this one here. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off my eyes and then I will come back and show you the lip gloss. Okay, for lips. So recently I've been running a bit of lip liner through my lips and then topping it off with some lip gloss. Um, I've re I really love lip gloss, I really love glossy lips. So for me, the main point of my lips has recently been lip gloss. The lip color I'm gonna use today is by Maybelline. This is part of their Gigi Hadid range. I can't actually see what it's called. I don't think it's actually got a name. It must have a name, but I can't see. But it comes with a sharpener thingy as well at the end of the um, thing. I've just realized that, I literally just pulled it off. So anyway, I'm just gonna put this through my lips. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Fenty lip gloss. So this is the lip gloss, beautiful packaging, and this lip gloss is called Fenty Glow. I cannot even literally describe to you how much I love this lip gloss. It is like the perfect formula that I've ever come across in my life. It's not sticky whatsoever, it literally coats the lips. Like it's like a, like a double coating. Anyway, I'm gonna show you.
So it's super, super glossy. I just think it looks absolutely stunning. It's not like, it doesn't have chunks of glitter in, but it's quite shimmery, but not too shimmery. I don't know, they've just literally made it perfect. So lastly, I always finish off my makeup by applying MAC Fix Plus. So that is that for makeup. So I will let you guys know in a few hours, maybe around six or seven, I will tune back in and tell you how the foundation has lasted on me. Like, I don't think it's ridiculously matte, but like, it's definitely not dewy. I think that they've definitely got the right formula. It applies beautifully and yeah, so far so good for me. So right now the time is 2.31. So yeah, I will come back about six or seven and I will tell you how it's going. Hi guys, so I'm back again. Obviously, I wanted to just let you guys know how the foundation has been getting on. So the time now is 7.16 p.m. So it's been quite a few hours now. It's not been as many hours as I would have liked, but I filmed fairly late and also I just want to take my makeup off because my day is like done. If the lighting has changed, it's because the lighting has changed. Um, before I was using natural lighting and now I'm using a ring light. I have not touched my makeup all day. The only thing I have reapplied is my lip gloss. I have not powdered anymore, I haven't applied more foundation because I've literally not touched my face all day, just reapplied lip gloss. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see. By the way guys, I do wear other things other than dressing gowns. I think I had a black one on earlier and now I've got a white one on. I do actually, I have normal clothes on. God, titties are out. I do have normal clothes on, but my house is cold right now. So I'm just trying to warm up. I've just turned on the heat in, so hopefully it should warm up soon. Anyway, so the foundation has lasted a very long time. Like, I literally have not touched anything on my face apart from my lips and everything is exactly the same way as I applied. It's funny, because if anything, I've liked the foundation more as time has gone on. Like, I feel like, as time is going on, it looks more like skin. It's blending with my skin. I don't really know. I feel like the oils from my skin have made the foundation look nicer as time goes on. I don't think the foundation looks cakey. I think it looks fairly natural. Like it, it looks like skin still, and I love that. I'm a little bit more dewy here and on my forehead, but I personally like that, it's not a problem for me whatsoever. So, personally, I would say, so far, I love the foundation. Definitely gonna be one of my go-to foundations. I just know that I'm just gonna be picking this up all the time now. Um, in my opinion, it does everything that it says. I have been outside today as well, so, like, I've been out and I've been getting on my household stuff, I've been doing work, and, yeah. Do I think it is worth the money? Yes. The most I've ever paid for a foundation is £62, which is bloody ridiculous. It was a Tom Ford stick foundation and it was not worth the money whatsoever. I actually haven't used that in ages. Maybe I should use it again and see how it is, but from when I tried it before, it wasn't worth the money whatsoever. So this being $32, which is let me see how much that is in pounds. $32 in pounds is roughly 24 pounds. So, yes, 100%. To be honest, I'd pay more. I'm not telling you to put your prices up, but I would pay more. I've done, already paid a lot of money for foundations that were not worth that whatsoever, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review and, Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot what I usually say then. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.